guys and welcome back to Ibiza. So I'm finally picking up the camera. Although I did vlog yesterday, as you saw, we were on the boat. We literally got up at 2 a.m., landed in Ibiza and went straight on a boat day. It was honestly the best day ever. So I'll leave all the details below for the people that we rented the boats off because I highly, highly recommend. So the reason we flew out and went straight on the boat is our friends were out here and they've recently got engaged out here. So we wanted to fly out and spend the day with them and just really celebrate and it was just amazing. So as you saw, I did vlog, but I didn't actually get up um, the camera to speak. But we've just checked in at this hotel, which is Petunia, and it's really nice. It's a little bit further out. It's like Esfedra way of the island, and it has amazing views of the mountain as well, which also I'll talk you through because it's meant to be the third most magnetic point on the um earth which is really interesting so i've been reading up on it today but yeah we've just checked in the hotel this is really kind of like a little bit further out it feels like a retreat really like spanish traditional vibes which i love so it's a little bit different from when we went to oku also got this little set on from naked we've just been sat by the pool before we checked in um, you would have seen this in my last video, or like the last one before that actually, by the time this goes live. I did have a discount code, I'm not sure if it'll be live yet, um, sorry, still. So if it is, I'll leave it on the screen, if not, I'll even link this down below, because it's such a nice little linen set to throw on, and I'll give you a little bit of a room tour. So our room is a little bit further back, we're actually swapping rooms tomorrow, we've upgraded tomorrow. So we've got this one for tonight, so you come through... And as you can see, it's all of this kind of like rustic vibe. I really love the interiors, it's really cool. Chris is just having a moment on the bed here. <laughs> um, over here, we've just got a little bar area. And then obviously you saw the seat narrow before. I think this is a queen size bed, isn't it, babe? It's not a king, we've got the king at home, haven't we? No, yeah, we're, so we're upgrading tomorrow, aren't we, to another room, yeah. a bigger room. But this will do for now, it's really nice anyway. Then you come through here, I mean, Chris found this so weird. There's just like two chairs in the bathroom, like, you know, just in case you want to have a casual conversation. Bath, shower, um, and then over here is the sink area. Then we don't really have like a balcony because obviously we're on like the bottom floor. This hotel is like laid out a little bit different than others. But we've got this kind of like seating area out here, which I'll show you. So we've got this little lounger. And then there's also a little bit of seating out here too. And then this terrace up here is gorgeous. You can kind of see the rock over there. It's amazing views of the Esvedra rock. And we're going to go up there later for some cocktails. And then there's actually a bar above our room here. But it's not open tonight. That's going to be open tomorrow for like tapas and cocktails. Um, so yeah, and I obviously showed you, kind of saw us checking into the hotel as well, the grounds are amazing in the pool, it's just really nice, chilled, couples, little retreat. So we're going to get ready now, head for some lunch, and then later we're going to go to the Esvedra Rock. <laughs> Babe, you literally look dead. <laughs> We're going to head to the S Fedra Rock and um, watch the sunset, take a pizza, some kava and just chill out tonight because yesterday was very hectic and we were absolutely knackered from waking up at 2am so we're going to have a bit more of a chilled one today and tonight. And we're just sat having some lunch by the pool. We've gone for the um, aubergine parmigiana which is literally one of my favourite dishes and burrata which again is one of my favourite dishes and look how cute Chris's beer is, it's like half a pint. Feeling a bit worse for say, aren't you, babe? After the boat. <laughs> a bit and then I've gone for a little gin. I'm feeling fresh. I was at the gym this morning. And then we're gonna chill out by the pool for a bit. So my day has just got a whole lot better because they have oat milk. As soon as they said they had oat milk, I feel like you were just relieved as well. Because he knows well, they complete. Yeah. He knows how much I love it. Mm. Crap. An iced oat milk latte to pick me up and then probably gonna have a nap, which is kind of like counteractive, but Okay, so since we last spoke, we've actually changed room. They've upgraded us, which is amazing, because the other one, there was like a sewage leak, because they had a thunderstorm here a few days ago, and this one is a lot better. I mean, the other one was lovely, but it was just the smell. So you walk in here, there's like a little wardrobe area. Again, same kind of like interiors, little seating area. So this is the bigger suite, I think. Um, bigger bed, this lovely big mirror here, and then, it's got this gorgeous garden um, like shower out here. So the shower, there is one around here. It's obviously like an indoor shower. It's a little bit more modern actually this room. 
big mirror here. And then I will try get this up. How do I do it? Here we go. There we go, I managed to do it. And then this is our private little shower out here. I'm gonna actually have a shower now. How pretty is this? It just feels so peaceful. This is honestly the best feeling when you've been out napping, sunbathing, showered, fresh, tan, like that holiday glowy tan. I've just done my skincare, washed my hair, and in this nice little hotel robe. And normally hotel robes are really long on me and too big, and this one fits great. Chris has just put the champagne in the fridge for later, and we've also ordered the champagne carver. We're going to sit out... Champagne sangria. Sorry, yes. Yeah, sh champagne sangria. I'm going to sit out here on our balcony and have this before we get ready and head out to the S Federal Park, which is over there. So we have our pizzas, towel, and we're walking to go watch the sunset. It's starting to set now, and we're gonna walk to the end of this road, and apparently there's a nice cliff, and we can sit there. I've got some champagne in my bag. I'll also show you my outfit. We we're kind of rushing it a little bit, so we can catch a sunset over this beautiful setting. We're just walking past, and look at this insane house, like how big it is. It goes all the way, and over there is a beautiful view. Imagine having that as your view every day the magnetic point mountain giving you all the good vibes oh the sun is setting it looks beautiful babe all i want to do is just sit with a cheap picnic. pizza picnic and watch the sunset this is like my ideal cool. night nothing bougie nothing crazy just good food good vibes we're still not over these villas and the views wow i'm petrified right now if a snake comes out one of these bushes, I'm gone. And I'm taking the pizza with me. Don't, <laughs> please, please. Freaks me out, these kind of, uh, this is literally where they, honestly, this is literally where they are, live their best life, in these mountains and these rocks. You know what it reminds me of when on finding me like mate, 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 mate. Maybe he's related to the TikTok seagull in Bristol. Have you seen it? No. Oh my god, it's so good. I'll show you. It's oh, 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 there's another two. There's two well, flying call, in right call now. Him Dave. Dave. <gasps> Babe, stop! They're gonna come. Oh my god, they're all coming. They're all. <gasps> Babe, please. Can you stop? The... Please <laughs> stop feeding them. Oh, oh, they're having a standoff. Oh, there's another one coming in. Oh my god, please stop feeding relax, them, Chris. Please, relax. I'm He's freaking out. To get the thing out. We really butchered this song yeah. really badly. <laughs> Morning guys, actually it's not morning anymore, it is, is it three o'clock? <laughs> um, but I have had a productive morning, I woke up early, went on a run, I actually went along this road and then like all round and saw the big houses and then we've literally had breakfast and just chilled out by the pool for a few hours. I had a nap and you know when you wake up from a nap and you literally don't know what time or where you are, I was so confused. I'm taking a nap! You want to take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Good night. 
How long was I napping for? It must have been like a good two hours then. Yeah, about a couple of hours. Yeah, but we're just heading to the beach now. The beach is actually really close to our hotel. They said it's only five minutes. I think it's probably down here, babe. Do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Just kind of like taking it easy because the hotel we're at is honestly so nice. It's like it feels like a couple's retreat and you just chill out. It's so so zen. I actually might do the yoga in the morning, so we're doing it this morning above our room. And we've actually changed room again. I feel like you're probably like, how many times do you change a room on a holiday? But we've checked into another room today. Um, it's got more of like a balcony terrace where we can sit out as well, which is nice. Then I've got to go back, shoot a campaign, and then we're going to get ready and actually have dinner at the hotel. And we've ordered my favourite gambas in alioli, prawns, these look so good. I mean you know you're in Spain, you have olives, alioli, bread, prawns, and then we've ordered a fish haven't we baby? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I think we've both gone in like a food coma, haven't we? The hair looks really pretty. See lipstick <laughs> so, back from the beach, fresh shower in my throat. I've actually just picked a spot here on my chin. Apart from that though, my skin has actually been really good on this holiday. I've just been using Factor 50, the one that um, Dr. Nina prescribed me. I thought I'd just do a bit of like a summer makeup look with you guys. How I'm gonna do my makeup tonight. Nothing too fancy, but I have been using some new products. So I'm gonna actually start with the Charlotte Tilbury UV. This has got the SPF 50 in it as well. This is the primer because it's still super bright and the sun does not set till like nine here. So I need to keep my skin protected. I don't know if you can hear all the crickets. It's literally just like the sound of holiday. I need to also comb through my brows and crush them up because I feel like they're everywhere. But yeah, just put that on. I really can't see myself that well, so I'm having to look through the viewfinder with my flawless filter. This is shade four. I feel like I'm really kind of coming to the end of this. It's honestly so peaceful here. Like all I want to keep doing is like taking a nap. And normally I can never really like switch off on holiday but I feel like just being at this hotel the past two days I've really started to like unwind a little bit. I mean I do have to get ready now to film a campaign before we head out but still can't complain in this setting. But yeah as you can see it just gives your skin a really nice base. It just kind of like gives it a glow, evens it out a little bit and you can actually use this on top of your foundation. So I normally use the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, but I do feel like this is a little bit thick for holiday. And I've recently been using this one, the Touche Clay. Sorry, it's a bit dirty. My um, blusher has like broken all in my makeup bag. This is the Touche Clay one, I love it. And this is shade B45. I literally winged it and guessed it because they did kindly gift it to me. And obviously I'd never used it before. So I was just kind of guessing my shade. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. It is actually a little bit darker but because I've got kind of like a tan, it will blend in. And it's just such a nice, lightweight foundation. It also smells lovely. It smells like perfume on your face. But I really like this. And you guys know I normally never sway from my Charlotte Tilbury. Obviously I do use other brands, but I'm really loving Wyatt Salem in it, especially the Touche Clay. Or Touche Clat, however you say it. The Maybelline Instant Anti-Age. This is the neutralizer. I'm just gonna quickly go under my eyes. I feel like it could be a little bit, like I need one that's a little bit lighter. But like that hasn't given like a crazy amount of coverage. So I don't want a lot anyway. Like I said, I like my skin to feel really light, light if that mean, makes sense on holiday. Like I don't like my face to be like caked. So I'm gonna go in with the, again, the YSL, this is the Touche Clat in um, shade two. I love this. 
I remember when I used to watch my mum doing her makeup and she has been using this product for years and I now love it. You can actually use it as like a highlighter as well. So I'm just going over the top, just around my eyes and my nose to kind of brighten it up a little bit. My eyebrows are really bugging me, so I feel like I should do my eyebrows before anything else. But I'm gonna go in with my contour. And I always use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I feel like, again, I'm coming to like the end of this. And I just go high here. I don't bring it down at low on my cheeks, just kind of like where my eye ends here, if that makes sense. Top of my forehead, and then contour my nose. I feel like I need some good contour tips in terms of my nose, because I always see girls doing great tips on like TikTok and stuff, and I need to learn some new ones. With the bronzer, and this is Bronzing Stones. It is the most stunning bronzer. You can see I've used it quite a bit already, and it has like a highlight in it as well, which is just so nice. I love this color, it's like a nice deep bronze. So I'm gonna use my bronzing brush and go in and make myself look sun-kissed. Anyone else do that when they're doing the bronzer? a really good colour for your eyes and it also ties in with your bronzer. Sorry, I feel like I'm so far away you probably can't even see. Let's bring you in a bit closer. Especially if you have blue eyes as well. I feel like this just makes it pop. So, I am now ready. I'll quickly show you my outfit. The sun is just setting so i've got this top on from zara super cheap i think it's like 15.99 or something and my white linen trousers from zara i wear these all the time love them hopefully they're still online for you guys to get and then if you guys saw my makeup i'll show you my little bag back out and wear my little Balenciaga bag and my heels are actually naked fashion i think my discount code is still live you can get 30 percent off them very cute this is my little outfit of the night and we're going to go up on the roof terrace and have some tapas and cocktails because I'm still so full from lunch. It was so beautiful, the fish we had. But it's actually a bit of a cloudy night, but I'm hoping we can catch this list, little bit of the sunset going over the mountain. I'll show you. I kind of see it setting over there. But it's quite cloudy tonight with the clouds over the mountain, so I'm glad we did the sunset last night over there and properly saw it. So we've decided to chill around the pool again here, haven't we? Just because we love it so much. And we've had lunch again here, which is not like us. Normally we like to go to different places, but we will over the next few days. So Chris has gone for the hamburger. We've got our carver sangria. Looking out to this beautiful view. And mine's agio olio, is it? It's like a healthier pasta. It's just kind of like olive oil, chili, and garlic. Sangria, and just chilling out for the day. We've just come back up to this view where we were the other night, the S Vedra Rock. And we're gonna get some drone footage, it's not sunset, but we didn't bring it last time and we thought it'd be so nice to get some footage on the drone, which I'm sure I will clip into shortly. Chris was literally trying to help me with it. So I'm having to wear the same outfit, but 
We're now in the old town, as you can see behind me. It's so busy, it's so nice. Just had dinner, haven't we? Well, I didn't really eat much, but you did. Okay. Did you, did you have? Lamb chops. Well, half a lamb chop. We're at a place called Coquina Mediterranean. You and found your hunger halfway through the meal. Yeah, I highly actually recommend it if you come here. The service was really nice. They sat us down really quick. We didn't have to have a reservation. Um, it's been a really nice setting, hasn't it? But I just didn't really want to eat tonight because my stomach. But now I want gelato. So distracted by dogs but yeah I thought I'd just check back in on the vlogs I did leave the camera for a while we also checked into a different hotel now we're staying in like Ibiza it's kind of like Ibiza old town right just because we wanted to be around this area of the island we've kind of just been at the hotel a bit secluded for the past few days chilling out and now we want to tomorrow like go and do like a beach club somewhere and hopefully get a reservation Don't touch me. <laughs> no, I'm basically more like I want you to do things out of kindness, like little acts, like vacuuming the house without me asking. Like, what is it, acts of service? Yeah. I'm more like that, and like you tell me, like you're proud of me, things like that, like words and actions rather than like touch. Whereas Chris's is acts of service, is his first, then quality time, then physical touch. And your gift is last, I think, gift for me. <laughs> so we legit saw some kids on the bed next to us order the kids chicken nuggets and chips. So we were inspired, weren't we? So crispy and good. so fast after the beach today just to scrubbed up in this little bazaar and we've come to Izakaya. I really wanted to come here last time we could get a table but Chris's uncle, uncle knows the owner we managed to get a reservation before we head home and the setting is just beautiful have a nice bit of sushi and wine before we head back later on a level of 1 to 10 how good are these lobster mango rolls <laughs> A nine. A nine? That's big for you. Delicious. My camera back, she's about to die. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Are you going to get those all in one? Eat it. 